a captive instance of RPC-046. Registered Phenomena Code, RPC-046. Designation, Desert Dogs. Object Class, Beta Orange. Hazard Types, Aggression Hazard, Ballistic Hazard, Grouped Hazard, Organic Hazard, Sapient Hazard, Sentient Hazard, Toxic Hazard, Transmutation Hazard. Containment Protocols. Agents are to be embedded within indigenous communities throughout southern Africa. MST Lima 3 dog catchers are to be deployed upon verifiable sightings of RPC-046 activity with orders to terminate all instances encountered. Further containment is not required. Description RPC-046 is an anomalous species of canine bearing superficial resemblance to Lycaon pictus. Despite the resemblance, RPC-046 features several physiological characteristics which differentiate it from non-anomalous species, being more slender in appearance, with pelts significantly darker and more uniform than other species in the Lycaon genus. Lycaon pictus, African wild dog. The most defining attribute of RPC-046 are the quills interspersing the hackles, being composed of bone and growing directly from the spinal column. Each quill exudes a fine coating of diamphotoxin at the tip. RPC-046 is able to, through the contortion of a unique set of flexible dorsal muscles, fire these quills at velocities nearing 550 meters per second, and primarily does so against prey and entities perceived as threats. Quills fired in this fashion are rapidly regrown through means that are currently poorly understood. Diamphotoxin, a slow-acting paralytic toxin, otherwise only produced by the larva and pupae of beetles from the genus Diamphidia, and widely used as a narrow poison for game hunting by the indigenous San people of southern Africa. Note, quills travel at an initial velocity similar to that of bullets fired from low-powered firearms. Behaviorally, RPC-046 exhibits identical social hierarchies and pack behavior to non-anomalous species of the genus Lycaon, differing only in regards to human interaction. When an adult human equipped with a bow approaches instances of RPC-046, normal territorial behavior will temporarily cease, and the instances will approach the intruder. Should the hunter ignore RPC-046 and continue walking, the entities will return to normal behavior once they are no longer visible. Should RPC-046 be presented flesh from an airland, however, all present instances of RPC-046 will immediately begin to assist the offerer in hunting the nearest game animal. RPC-046 entities will assist the offerer in tracking their quarry and will selectively fire their quills in order to weaken or cripple the animal, but will actively refuse to kill the chosen prey in their stead. RPC-046 appears to be selective about the prey animals they choose, actively avoiding pregnant or brooding females and generally choosing the most sustainable prey animal in the region. Eland, a genus of large African antelope. Note, game animal here is seemingly defined as any non-human animal considered a hunting target by the offerer. Discovery, despite significant amounts of older, unverified reports of the species by 20th century explorers, RPC-046 was first encountered by the authority in the 1950s, following an abnormally large surge of ivory contraband being intercepted, leaving the Republic of Namibia. Fearing an anomalous money-making scheme in the area, authority personnel were embedded in colonial anti-poaching forces in the region, quickly encountering RPC-046 packs, assisting a number of native hunters in the region. With the recognition of RPC-046's anomalous nature, the authority collected a number of live specimens to maintain a captive breeding population and, due to the wide range of the entities and their not insignificant numbers across the continent, engaged in an extermination campaign to eliminate populations not within authority captivity. Native populations, economically suffering from apartheid policies of the era, were systematically bribed and assisted significantly in the location of RPC-046 packs. Incident 046-1.
On 23-1-2016, all captive instances of RPC-046 uncharacteristically huddled together, obscuring a single corner of their containment chamber from observation. Security footage of the ensuing incident is transcribed below. Security Log 23-01-16 Begin Log over a dozen RPC-046 instances of varying ages are visible, pressing against the southernmost corner of the containment cell, visible from the camera only as a writhing mass. RPC-046 instances begin chirping in unison for approximately two minutes. RPC-046 entities collectively yelp and flee the corner at once. A new RPC-046 instance, RPC-046-A, appearing significantly larger than the rest, and sporting a set of Elland antlers, stands in the now cleared corner. All RPC-046 instances submit themselves before the new entity, showing signs of fear. The new RPC-046-A entity slowly approaches the camera, its entire body shifting into a humanoid shape. The new instance solidifies into a dark-skinned humanoid, sporting horns identical to those of its prior form. The entity is cloaked in a loose shawl reminiscent of RPC-046 fur, and seems to be holding a broken antler. The entity appears to be in extreme distress, and is actively crying. Entity, you have taken so, so much from us. No more. Note, entity is speaking a language later determined to be Hosian, an African dialect. The camera feed is abruptly cut off as a spine from an RPC-046 instance pierces it. Several minutes of audio consisting of a single loud explosion as the entities breach containment. RPC-046 entities yipping and the sound of sustained gunfire follow. End log. During the ensuing containment breach, despite significant authority casualties, all captive instances of RPC-046 were killed by on-site security staff. The humanoid entity was not accounted for amongst the casualties. Addendum. Following incident 046-1, a number of sites across the African continent have periodically come under assault by several previously unaccounted for RPC-046 packs. RPC-046 entities have displayed unprecedented coordination during these attacks, with multiple unrelated packs joining together and engaging authority security staff with tactical precision. While the assaults have yet to cause any significant breaches of containment, prolonged assaults leading to an unsustainable number of casualties and consistent reports of a single, significantly larger, and horned RPC-046 entity leading the raiding parties has led to major concerns about the current RPC-046 management strategies. A request to update RPC-046 to Beta Red is currently pending.